In a prime spot overlooking Nairobi's city center lies the oldest university in Kenya, founded in 1970. The University of Nairobi is also one of the largest institutions of higher learning in the country and has been ranked among the best in the continent. At the heart of the main campus in the capital lies the workshop, a bedrock of raw rugby talent. The university boasts a host of competitive sports teams across all disciplines, one of them, the Min Machine, one of the country's oldest rugby teams to participate in the Kenya Cup. Almost as old as the university, Min Machine was founded in 1977, during the time when rugby in Kenya was predominantly played by white settlers and expatriates. Rugby in the 60s and 70s was predominantly a very white-oriented game. Uh, most of the players who used to play were all white players. And Min Machine was the black rugby, uh, the black Africa, I mean black rugby side to, um, that we had, followed of course now by, by Mwamba and then we had now Black Blood which came much later. And uh, in their debut in 1977, they did win the Kenya Cup. And many people were shocked because how is it that black players, I mean, are just coming in and all of a sudden they're competing against Nondis because Nondis were the dominant team and they, and they still have the most titles won as far as, as, uh, as the Kenya Cup is concerned. During the first 10 to 15 years since its inception, Min Machine in the famous blue and white stripes managed to produce some of the country's finest rugby players, especially in the 80s the likes of Edward Rombo, Eric Kibe, Ken Kimani and many others. The team has managed to scoop three Kenya Cup titles, their first coming on the same year they joined the tournament in 1977. The other two were back-to-back -back titles in 1989 and 1990. Being a university team, you know, you, you, you tend to get raw recruits from high school, from your Lenana, from your uh, Nairobi school and from there so many schools within the country or within Nairobi and also outside Nairobi. So they were able to get some of the best players, young players, and then get a very competitive team. And Min Machine were, were good for, for that period. I mean, they, all, they, they won the second Kenya Cup in 89, won the third Kenya Cup in 1990, and were able to be very, very competitive against uh, Nondis, who were the dominant team in that time. The side has managed to stay afloat for over 40 years, despite being an unprofessional rugby side. Newly elected Mean Machine Chairman Jacob Siwa shared on how the team runs around the university and union structures. So what happens uh, at Machine is there are games that are played, that are organized by a university association called KUSA. So those games are left primarily for students of the University of Nairobi. You can't play in them if you're not a student. But then Mean Machine as a club offers an opportunity for everyone to come and play, just like the other clubs. So, Min Machine as a, the university does not treat Min Machine as a club. It treats Min Machine as one of the sports that exist in the university. So, when it comes to like running the club, the university will do all the logistics. They will support in every way possible. That is providing the bus, the meals, accommodation, even if you are playing in carry your affiliated leagues because that is also a plus for the university. But then, just to make this clear, the university is in control of the club. But then, the club is affiliated to the union. So there are rules set by the union for their leagues. So the club has to adhere to that. Therefore, the club has to appoint someone to be in liaison, to be in liaison with the union, like appointment for the union, so that the union communicates to a secretary or a chairman and then it's delivered to the club. Just the same way when KUSA communicates to the university, they go through the sports director. Yeah, so it's just that kind of relationship trickling down to the players. Yeah, we have uh, friends of machine. We call them friends of machine. So there's a guy who's finished high school, he's not yet into university, but he wants to play club rugby. We also offer that opportunity to them. There are guys who uh, were in technical schools, their schools don't have rugby. Machine is in a central place in town, they can come and play. 
So machine is always open to everyone. The team comes back to this year's Kenya Cup as new boys after being relegated in 2017 and playing in the lower division last season. I think one of the reasons why they were relegated was that lack of support from the university. I mean, um, the Kenya Cup League is very brutal. Uh, it's, not, it's, not, it's not for the faint-hearted, especially when you don't have resources. And the 15th game, what people don't know is that the 15th game is very expensive. When you have a squad of 30 players and maybe you have another squad playing in the ESS, those are 60 players, they need boots, they need kit, and they need maybe some, some allowances, maybe weekly allowances, by the way. So when the university uh, system and structure is not supporting that uh, system and that play, it becomes very difficult. Players, of course, don't now don't show up for training practices. They start getting enticed by other, other clubs, and before you know it, you're getting relegated. I think it was a learning, it was a learning point for us. Because um, for a long time, we've actually uh, experienced a lot of exodus from our club. We're having like eight guys leaving the team, ten. Sometimes the whole bunch leaves because they've graduated and they have to move on and other clubs are offering them job opportunities. So it's been, it was coming, but it found that uh, at a point where by the university was not stable in terms of sports management, but then the students that were involved uh, thought this is also a learning process. Let us go back, let us find, win, uh, find our winning ways, get back to the Kenya Cup and machine will always be there. Uh, the thing that made actually the team to go down, I was not at the, at the moment, at that particular moment, but uh, the growth and the depth of the team is actually, it was wanting at that particular moment. But right now we're having that depth and the growth of the team. It's not, for, it's not very easy for you to get relegated and then you come up and then you come back like the second, uh, in, I think the same year. What normally happens, it takes two to three years for, um, for transition and then you come up back to the Kenya Cup. But for them to go down and to, come, and to come back up in one year was testament to their fortitude and to their character and to the, and to the support which the union uh, gave them. One of the main challenges facing the machine has been holding on to their best players. One of the challenges that Mean Machine has had, I think, in the last couple of years, I think for the last decade, let's say from around 2005, 6 up to now, was that you find a lot of the university guys who are there in the university, as we speak, are playing for other clubs. They're either playing for homeboys, they're either playing for Impala, they're either playing for Queens, uh, they're either playing for other clubs because they are being enticed, their incentives to play for these clubs. Either their, their education fees is being paid or university fees is being paid, or they're getting incentives, maybe some small allowance. And that's what the University of Nairobi was not doing. And I think it had to take the intervention of some of the old boys to go to the University of Nairobi and tell them, do something for this team because it's an institution at the University of Nairobi. And for many years, the University old boys have been key in keeping the side competitive, especially in the union-affiliated competitions. Uh, the first thing, you know, we can't just leave the, most of the players are junior players. We can't just let somebody from secondary to come then take up the position. It will be very difficult for them to adapt to the club level, club level rugby. So we, we as old boys, we stick around to mentor them so that they will also build their game. When it's the time when they become older boys as us, they also take up the positions. Uh, the culture here is uh, it's very simple. We love rugby. We play for the hearts. We do it for the fans. The club was founded in 1977. So we, the very many people have passed through this club. Once you get a chance to wear the jersey, it's a very proud moment for you because there, in this school there are around 80,000 students. Not all of them can afford the opportunity to wear the jersey. So out of the 15 guys, the 23 guys in seven, the 12 guys, it's a very big opportunity for you as a player to wear, put on the jersey, the blue jersey from Mimashe. The coach has also been impressed by the team's preparations in the off-season. <laughs> Actually, there are more uh, items I can pick in because uh, last year we we were we were low. At least this year we've not been relegated to any 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 tournament. Uh, despite the fact we us having a missed one tournament because of the accident, but we've managed and played throughout the circuit well. As much as we've not competed with the main cup, most of them, our points are high and. Uh, Going into Kenya Cup, I think the spirit is still working hard and we are still playing for it. So what should we expect from Mean Machine in the Kenya Cup this season? 
One of the differences that Mean Machine has is that they've got a very big fan base. I think they've got one of the largest fan bases of Kenya rugby um, uh, in the country. I remember in the former TV years when I used to go and cover the Impala floodlights, they used to literally bring the Impala floodlights to a standstill because they have got a very big fan base. All their fans from the university, especially when they used to do well, used to come and watch them play at the, at, at, at the Impala floodlights. Or even when they used to have um, Kenya Cup games, their matches used to attract a very large crowd. So I think that fan base, because if you look at the clubs here in Kenya, I mean Harlequins or Impala or Nondis, uh, or let's say even Cabras or KCB, their fan bases are not that big. Uh, yes, they had, yes, the die-hard fans, but the fan base of machine, and I and, and let's go back to my former point, this being a university team, and with all those university students, once they get to know that they have a game on the weekend, on Saturday, they turn up in their, in their hundreds and their numbers, and they support the team. And I remember when machine was what their peak it was very hard to go and get a win at the university of nairobi grounds it was one of the most difficult places to go whether you're an, whether you're a harlequins team or an impala team or a non team going to play at the university of nairobi in front of that fan base against a very competitive mid machine team was not very easy so they bring color they bring noise they bring all all manner of chance to rugby games and they're able to Bring, I mean, bring that color and that element of noise, especially to rugby, especially the 15th game, when they're having an away game or even when they're having a, a home game. Yeah, this this year it will be very interesting. I'd like to warn the other clubs out there that we are ready for them because we we've trained. Winning the championship wasn't easy, and the, we, most of the guys are still around, and we have gelled as a team, and we're ready to take up the challenge. The current couple of players, uh, as from last year. I've decided uh, that if you're playing here, that is the workshop, Mean Machine Workshop, this field, that nobody wins here. And they've actually lived up to that. Last year, nobody won a game here. We played a whole league, losing only one game and it was away. And we didn't lose a match here. And most of the games we played here, we won by a bonus point. So going into the Kenya Cup, we just want to make our opponents aware that nobody wins here.